Hey guys, so today I'm reviewing Summer Lovin' by Carly Phillips. This is the second book in the Costa Sisters duology, the first book being Under the Boardwalk by Carly Phillips. If you haven't read, or you're planning on reading, or you're currently reading Under the Boardwalk, please discontinue this review as even the synopsis will give some spoilers with regards to characters and situations that take place in the first book. Sorry. In this one, we are following Zoe Aries' sister, her twin sister. She, Quinn, and his friend Connor have quit their jobs. They've decided to become their own bosses at a security company that they have basically built and they're going to start running. Now, they are arguing over what the name should be of the company when they're brought back to the present by Elena. You see, at the moment, it is Sam's 15th birthday party. Elena tells Zoe that she is to stay close to the caseworker and just make sure everything runs smoothly. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to them, the caseworker that shows up is actually Ryan Baldwin, Sam's biological uncle. He has finally found out where Sam was and he's come to basically collect her and take her home. When Zoe finds out who he actually is, she decides that he needs to stay quiet about this and just let things take place as they can. Now, I really did enjoy the dual perspectives between Ryan and Zoe. I like getting to see a lot of back things taking place when the other characters weren't around. I didn't like the instant love. You know why? It became instantly cheesy. Now, the other thing that I found that I really liked was the fact that there is some mystery and intrigue taking place in the Baldwin family and also with regards to Sam's past. Now, the last thing that I want to state is the ending. I really wasn't invested or loving this duology, but I was curious how the author was going to conclude it. And all I will state is the author did a very neat, clean job of concluding it so that you're not left hanging or with unanswered questions. I was very satisfied with the ending, even if I didn't enjoy the duology as a whole. So if you guys have read Carly Phillips before, let me know if there is a piece of work that she's written that does not involve instant love. Because... I don't know if it's maybe I just don't like her writing, or maybe I just haven't found the right book that she's written. So until next time, go and pick up a random book and read. Bye guys!